I believe that most LEGO fans would agree with me when I say that the newer trains are not as outstanding as they used to be. You can take nearly any train from the last five years and they pale in comparison to what we used to get. That isn't to say that all of the recent trains have been bad, but when you look back through the company's history, nothing comes close to what the 9 volt era of trains had to offer. The 90s were a very turbulent year for LEGO financially, but in spite of their hardships, they were able to make landmark sets for nearly every theme at the time. You have the airport shuttle and the Breezeway Cafe in 1990, the Imperial Trading Post and Flagship in 1992, the Metroliner and Metro Station in 1991. Then we have this set, 4561 Railway Express. It's by no means the most detailed or impressive looking train of this era, but for what it lacks in size or detail, I feel it makes up for in character. The locomotive is one of, if not the, smallest that LEGO has ever done. It is essentially a shell around a 9-volt motor. It's so small, in fact, that there isn't even room for a floor. The driver has to sit on top of the chassis itself with zero stud connections. Even at this comically small scale, the interior has lots of details. The console for the engineer features some printed computer screens and buttons, and in front is what I believe is supposed to represent the main electronics of the locomotive. Finally, at the rear, we have an Octan mobile fueling pump. Next, we have the passenger car, which has these very appealing blue windows that span the entire length of the build. It lets a lot of light come in so we can see the interior. The standout feature of these are the doors. They open up like a theme park ride vehicle with nearly the entire side wall swinging up to allow people to get in or out. Inside we have a dining area with a menu and a table, as well as a small theater with a space movie playing. Despite only half the car being used to carry minifigures, there are still more seats here than in some of the newer trains. The rest of the space is used for storing luggage and food. The second car is an auto carrier with room for all three vehicles included in the set. The cars are incredibly basic, using the then standard four stud wide car body. Finally, we have a simple platform to load and unload passengers and vehicles from the train, a small oval of track, and a transformer. The set was designed by Jorn Thompson, who made a lot of the 90s space sets. I think it shows in this train. It has a very galactic feel to it, using a lot of the same colors from the Ice Planet theme. I'd also like to mention a pamphlet that came with the set. It has a few alternative builds as well as photos of the main set. They're a fun addition, and I wish LEGO still included things like this. This set exemplifies what made the 9V system so versatile. Having the electronic components all inside of the chassis allows for such a small and unique design. You can take this one motor and put it on almost any other train and have it work exceptionally well. You never need to worry about a battery box fitting or an IR receiver not working. You could put a train on the tracks and have it run around endlessly. That's what makes this era of trains so special. With all that said, it's not a perfect set. The stickers haven't aged too well, and some are put over multiple bricks, which is very limiting when it comes to customization. I don't think it detracts from the overall quality of the set, though. This set is still a perfect way to get into 9-volt trains, and I'm glad it was my introduction.